Believe it or not, despite being a kaiju fan, I don't buy that many figures anymore. I've got all the kaiju I want already. Now, my interests lie in oddities. Strange, unofficial stuff. And the best place to find that strange, unofficial stuff, for relatively cheap, is AliExpress. I don't know the extent to which the items here are official, but suffice it to say, a lot of these look kind of illegal. A lot of stolen fan art for body pillows, too. Why are they even recommending them to me? I'm not turning into a toy review channel, I just thought it'd be a fun idea, you know, to buy a couple of these and look at them. And I've got to get something out while I'm working on the next big project. So here's something a little dumb. Now, all the items you're going to see in this video came to a total of 40 bucks. Let's just, let's just start it. Let's just start the video. And this is the part that determines whether I do more of these, because now I don't have a script. Now for this one, I wanted a kaiju figure. Just something really basic, something that's hard to screw up. So I went with what I thought was a spark doll. So this is Sadula from Return of Ultraman. Uh, his arms are really long because it's a reference to an episode of Ultraman Mebius where his arms get really long. If you look at it from a distance, it's not that bad. But once you start, once you look at it up close, uh, that's when the cracks start to form. The paint job around the eyes is kind of dog shit. Uh, one eye is looking up and the other is looking at the camera. Moving this joint back and forth, it feels like it can pop it out at any moment, and it, it feels like this part has gone through some wear and tear, and like this is supposedly new. Uh, I might regret this. I, I can, apparently, but I, I, I'm I pussying out. Uh, now you know what Sadala's blood looks like. It's It's blue. Before I move on, I want to say they gave me the wrong character card here. They, they gave me one for Red King, even though th this is Sadola. You know, a common mistake. They're both corn cobs. Yeah, that's enough of that shit. Next up is a package that I've been waiting to open on camera. So, uh, it, it's this bag of, like, mini Godzilla figures. You get to see me open them on camera, or I'll just jump cut, because that would be really boring. Okay, uh, they're all out of the bag now. There's one more I've got off screen that I'm going to reveal later, but these are all varying uh, mini figures of uh, Goge. This one represents the 1954 uh, Goge and his iconic green skin and uh, come blast. For what it is, the sculpt is okay. The paint job on the eyes is pretty goofy, but that's what I like. That's that's what that's what I like. You can't see it, but I'm doing a peace sign. That's what I like. Uh, this one is based on the Musuko Goji design from Son of Godzilla, which is certainly a choice. As, like, again, the, the sculpt isn't bad, but the, the friggin' eyes, man. This one is based on the, what I believe to be King Goji suit, but it's like pure black. Uh, the King Goji suit is supposed to be sort of like a charcoal gray, but this one is colored more like a Heisei suit. Here we have one that's based on Burning Goji. This one is pretty standard. The entire body should be glowing, but it's just the scoots on the back. Paint job is once again, yeah. Now this one, I audibly gasped when I first saw this one. <laughs> they couldn't have been more wrong with the eye placement, <laughs> Jesus. That is a clump scringly right there. Oh my god, this this is a favorite. <laughs> he looks like Watto from Star Wars Phantom Menace. <laughs> oh, I, I can look at this all day, but... My battery is going to run out soon, so get out of here. You've seen him lurking in the background. It's uh, Godzilla 2014 with his iconic cum blast. And here we have another Godzilla 2014. It's it's not great, but I mean... Sure. And finally, the 
last one of this set and it is not godzilla but rather uh femuto uh, i really like the mudos in the 2014 film people who say they're cloverfield ripoffs have have not seen cloverfield and like sure they're multi-limbed things standing but like i, I enjoy the chemistry the two mudos have that's it's fun it's cool i like that movie anyways uh, why are the arms colored? I mean, the Hawk Muto kind of had white on its body, but the Femme Muto's arms were not uh, colored like this in the film. This one was the most expensive. It cost me about $15, $14. Uh, this is it. I haven't taken it out of the packaging yet. Justice! Let's take this crap out of the packaging. What this is, is... <laughs> oh, Hideki Go, what have they done to you? <laughs> Holy... Let me get this crap out of the way. Holy... Yeah, this is a stretchable Ultraman <laughs> figure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be having some fun with this. This is interesting. Um, it, fe it feels well made. It feels... Uh, curiously, it does not feel like it's going to crumble in my hands. Yeah, let's let's bring back Satella for this one. Yeah, ultimate ultimate fucking showdown. Let's fucking go, baby. Yeah, baby. But yeah, this is a lot of fun. I I would recommend this. I will give an update if it breaks or not. Moving on. Before I move on, though, uh, this figure, this this rubber stretchy doll, came with. A pack of cards. What kind of cards, you ask? Uh, the, the the Decker Flash cards. I actually don't know the name of them. I, I haven't I haven't seen Decker. Oh ho, 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 M1 baby. Yes. I forgot to hit record on the on the mic, so you're you're gonna hear camera audio for that bit. And next up we have. Titus, Ultraman Titus. I, I need I need to finish Taiga. I I stopped about halfway through. What what the fuck is that? Ultraman Titus again. Yeah, baby. Love this guy. The fuck is that? Ooh, Ultraman Ultraman Trigger. I'll get to you someday. Snyder, Snyder. Ooh, Ultraman Dinah. Nice. Uh, the speed version of a Kiraloid. I'm in the middle of recording a Tiga video, so that's how I immediately recognized that. But yeah, that's what that's 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 what we got for cards. I bought this about six months ago. I'm pretty sure you can't buy it anymore. Yeah, this is oh. I, I'm still kind of, like, flabbergasted, like, uh, this is the epitome of Clump Scringly right here. It's, it's thin, I, <laughs> I think it was listed as, like, a Christmas ornament on the AliExpress listing. Uh, I kind of like the, the, the scoot designs, it's kind of got a, a wavy look to it. They, they feel tough, they feel slightly rubbery. The, the face, the face and the, and the painting on the face and the long arms and the long legs. This is one of my favorite bootlegs. I've had it on my sidewall for a while now. I, I really enjoy it. I'm glad I bought it before it was discontinued because Toho came down on it or something. $10 well spent. Well. That was a load of shit. It wasn't all bad though. I've been happy with this gangly Godzilla for the past six or so months. And the rubber Ultraman Jack is quite durable. It kind of has a gross texture and a gross sticky sensation, but it is a surprisingly good stress toy. I'm busy editing and scripting all the time, so I like that there's now an Ultraman themed thing I can beat senseless. The minifigures are just a novelty. The Ultraman Decker cards I got as a bonus are neat. But this Saddle-Off figure is easily the worst thing here. It's only convincing as a stand-in for the real figure if you displayed it in the way back of a shelf. But hey, it was only five bucks. 
An actually good video will be coming out next week, so stay tuned for that. And now, a shout out to my biggest patrons. Radiant GV, Waba, Alcoholic Alligators, Ryan Santa Cruz, Avoc Robot, The Antagonist, Ziggy Zigra, It's God Z, Big Odilo, An Actual Demetrodon, CMG, Red Comet Harry, and Marpzilla. Thank you very much.